What's going on, gamers? Today, let's go over simple voice chat and how to install it on your Apex server. Simple voice chat is a fun, simple proximity chat that allows you to chat with other players nearby in-game without having to use Discord or any other type of third-party system. This mod adds an extra level of immersion, and today we're going over how to install it. First, for the plugin install, we're going to do our server, so scroll down to where you see the game file section. Here, you're going to want to make sure you're running a plugin-friendly server like Paper or Spigot. Select Change Version, click Create a New World, and finally click Restart Now. From here, we need to download the plugin, which I will link in the description below. Next, you can click the download that matches the game version on your server, and then you're going to want to do the exact same thing for protocol lib since it is a required dependency. This will also be linked in the description. Next, head back to your server again and click on FTP file access in the top left corner, log in and then enter the plugins folder, press upload and then on the next page, drag and drop both of the files into the upload space. Once they are 100% finished, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server. Now for the mod install, it's super similar. First, make sure you're running a mod compatible server like Forge or Fabric, and then head to the mod page of Simple Voice Chat and download the matching version by clicking files at the top. After that, head back to your panel, enter FTP, log in, and enter the mods folder. Press upload, and on the next page, drag the file into upload. Once it's completely finished, head back to your main panel using your server name at the top, and then restart the server. Now, before we can actually jump into using voice chat, we do have to configure a few things. For both plugin and mod versions, you're going to start by stopping the server and entering into the FTP file access. You can log in, and then from here, the paths are going to differ slightly. For paper, you're going to head to plugins, and then voice chat, and finally click edit to the right of server properties. For mod installs from that main FTP page, you're going to go to the config folder and then click voice chat and then the server properties. Once you're here, no matter the version, the only two things you're going to need to worry about are the bind address and the port sections. Replace the bind address with your server's address and then replace the port with your servers. Click save at the top and then make sure to restart the server. The mod itself is actually pretty simple, and it's really just full of different keybinds that I'm going to go over fairly quickly. For starters, caps lock is your push to talk. Look in the bottom left corner as you press this. If you see a microphone, you're live, and if there is no mic, your voice is not being picked up. Next, we have M for mute. You can also see this by looking in the bottom left corner. You also have H, which is going to hide said icons like the push to talk and mute in the corner. Now, before we go over a couple of the last settings, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you ever need voice chat settings, you're going to push V. This will give you general settings like volume, mic amplification, and where you'll choose if you want push to talk or vocal recognition. Finally, we have G for group. This is where you're going to make groups specific to who you want to talk to. Only those in the group will be able to hear you after setting it up. That's about it. It's a super simple mod that is perfect for friends who don't want to worry about a third-party app to talk online. And with how easy it is to use, you'll have it up and running in no time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.